I guess it's okay to slowly starve your children because cute, cuddly animals are more important than fellow human beings. Yet, I can't even call vegan girls stinky. Not anymore. Let's lock them up, boys and girls. Uh, according to these recent articles, 3% of Belgian children are raised vegan, about 1 in 30. So apparently, 3% of the population thinks they are better than everyone else because they care more about animals than humans. Denying the lack of available protein, vitamin B12, vitamin D, calcium, iron, zinc, iodine, omega fatty acids on a plant-based diet is a testament to how far vegans will lie. But for what? I really don't understand how someone can care so much about a pig that would literally eat you if you fell into its feeding tray. Those are the nutrients commonly stated in articles that most people recognize vegan diets are deficient in. But vegan diets are lacking pretty much every single nutrient our body needs, especially vitamin A in the form of retinol, vitamin K2 in the animal form of MK4, other important fatty acids like arachidonic acid, as well as EPA in optimal amounts, not to mention cholesterol, which is a precursor to so many hormones and processes in our bodies. Uh, yeah, right. Imagine a news article talking positively about cholesterol. I think these publications would take that one to the grave. The only thing a vegan diet can provide is caloric energy from carbohydrates and plant fats. The amount of nutrients and protein from a plant-based diet is not suitable for any stage of human life. That is why our indigenous ancestors, hunter-gatherers, used plant foods for their caloric nutrition for energy. They had a base of animal foods in their diets for the actual vitamins, minerals, elements, and fatty acids. What's crazy is that in these articles, there is still a semblance of hope in the vegan diet, saying things along the lines of, oh, if you supplement and have medical supervision, it can be tolerated by children, but otherwise it would be unethical. If a diet needs a laboratory and a team of doctors, maybe you shouldn't be following it. In 2017, two Belgian parents were convicted following the death of their seven-month-old baby who passed away weighing less than 10 pounds. Uh, but hey, let's hear what the vegans and the articles have to say. A professor representing the Royal Medical Academy of Belgium warns that a vegan diet would now legally qualify as non-assistance to a person in danger, a crime that would land you two years in jail. A person cannot be convicted of the 1961 offense if he is unaware the person is in danger. But the legal opinion now made it common knowledge that a vegan diet can kill. The pediatrician said, when we are children, the body manufactures brain cells. This implies high requirements for protein and essential fatty acids. The body does not produce them. It must be brought in via animal proteins. We are talking here about stunted growth and psychomotor delays, undernutrition, significant anemia. Some developments must be done at a specific time in life, and if they are not done, it is irreversible. Dawn Carr of PETA said, what an ignorant load of cut swallop. NHS nutritionists confirm that while a meat and dairy diet is what strikes people down in adulthood, as it can lead to hardened arteries that cause stroke, brain aneurysms, and heart attacks, a well-planned vegan diet is perfect for babies and children. Kids, including my own, thrive on a balanced vegan diet, but as with any dietary regimen, it's the parent's responsibility to ensure their child is getting all the necessary nutrients, and yes, that's easier to achieve on a vibrant vegan diet rich in whole grains, vegetables, and pulses. So, meat clogs your arteries, and a vegan diet is adequate in nutrition? Is that why you guys are killing babies? Heather Russell, dietitian at the Vegan Society, said, Nutritional planning is important for everyone, not just vegans. It's possible to provide all the nutrients needed for growth and development without animal products. Yuck.
there is literally no scientific evidence that meat and dairy, any animal food, can lead to heart disease or stroke. This witch's interpretation of her kids thriving on a vegan diet means nothing considering the mental state of these lunatics. If you take a look at the vegan society, all of them are pasty white ghosts, half of them have facial piercings, and none of them look healthy. Both the British Dietetic Association and American Academy of Nutrition and Dietetics recognize that well-planned vegan diets can support healthy living in people of all ages, including infants, children, teenagers, and pregnant and breastfeeding women, she added. I wonder if the British Dietetic Association has the same background as the American Dietetic Association. The American Dietetic Association was essentially founded by a religious cult that believes in a vegetarian diet. Check out my Vegans Will Go Extinct video last week if you want to learn more about that. Since a plant-based diet is not technically prohibited in Belgium, imposing it on children will not necessarily qualify as child neglect, but will make it easier for authorities to remove the child from their parents if his or her poor health is associated with a vegan diet. Well, a lot of things should be illegal, yet they are not. We already have malnourished, unhealthy children as a result of animal foods in our diet. Humans were well on their way to becoming infertile and extinct on just a standard American diet. A vegan diet just make things happen a little bit faster. These degenerates, vegans, will literally feed their cats and dogs a vegan diet and think it's okay. Put into context the mental state of these people. They somehow convince themselves to do this, literally torturing animals. How much of a hypocrite could you be? A uh, hypocrite is putting it nicely. Uh, evil, cruel, demonic, vile. Uh, more suitable words. This restrictive regimen requires ongoing monitoring of children to avoid deficiencies and often irreversible growth delays, the legal opinion said. It is unsuitable for unborn children, children, teenagers, and pregnant and lactating women. It is not medically recommended and even forbidden to subject a child, especially during periods of rapid growth, to a potentially destabilizing diet requiring frequent supplementation and control. This concept of nutrition is similar to a form of treatment that it is not ethical to impose on children. And you know what's comical? The vegans commenting on these news articles saying they're funded by the meat industry. Oh, I'm funded by Big Egg. What, what is it, like an egg wearing a top hat and a monocle beating people with a cane like Mr. Peanut? Are these people delusional? How much you wrote this Dr. Geth from the meat or fish industry? The human body is not meant for meat consumption. Most of people who eat meat carry in their colons up to 12 pounds of putrid leftovers during their lifetimes, which puts tremendous stress on the immune system, one of the causes of cancer in colons. Besides, two more points. Animals are treated very cool by all means. Every time someone eats an animal cadaver is eating many moments of suffering, and cruelty from a cadaver is eating. And the last point, but not least, is the meat loaded with hormones, antibiotic, plastic, pesticides, artificial toxic covers to make the meat last longer in refrigeration and make it look fresh. Fish is contaminated with mercury, lead, and other heavy metals! Since most of the oceans are highly contaminated and now with radiation in some areas of the Pacific from detonations of hundreds of nukes from US-UK experiments and lately from the Tsukushima leading plant from Japan, the bells and doctor needs to get informed and stop such crap. We got a real uh, bright one there, boys and girls. Uh, let's check out another one. Patrick Boboumian, Germany's strongest man, vegan, protein deficient is he, Venus Williams, Tony Gonzalez, NFL, boxer David Hay, Lewis Hamilton, MMA fighter Mac Danzig, the list goes on, just google vegan athletes, all of them obviously lacking in nutrients according to this idiotic statement which is based on the incorrect personal opinion of pediatrician, not a nutritionist, and not on actual facts, 
Funny how the British Dietetic Association have recently promoted a vegan diet and stated that veganism can help to control diabetes and cause it to go into remission, whilst I respect the doctor's ability as a pediatrician, he obviously has not studied nutrition, not surprising as there is no requirement for him to do so. However, he is making a completely incorrect statement and unfortunately Unfortunately, will just put people off veganism. It's commonly accepted now that a vegan diet is far more healthy than the class 1 carcinogenic processed meat. It's far better for the environment and most definitely better for the animals who are suffering through what can only be described as an animal holocaust. Frankly, I am disgusted by this ludicrous report. Unfortunately, buddy, you got a few contradictions there. Uh, that world's strongest man suddenly started getting injured as he went on a vegan diet. And if you look up any celebrity, they seem to be following a vegan diet. Uh, there is a clear agenda going on, and for vegans to deny, you know, if every single celebrity is following a vegan diet, that something's not a little fishy, then I really don't know what to tell you. It's ironic that he said, oh, he's a pediatrician, not a nutritionist, when a nutritionist is just a blanket term that anyone can use. So, uh, you know, these people are clearly uneducated. They have no clue what they're talking about. Uh, they are hypnotized by cute, cuddly little piggies. Oink, oink. And, I mean, I mean, what more can I, can I really say? If you guys would like to learn more about how many babies vegans have killed, I did a video about two weeks ago titled vegan parents arrested for starving child. I think I covered about half a dozen incidences where these parents actually killed their children on vegan diets, and there were even more where uh, the children were so malnourished, you know, they probably have permanent uh, developmental disabilities. Uh, this is something, guys, I've, I've mentioned in the past, uh, that's it's very close to my heart. You know, I personally believe that one of the reasons my sister is mentally disabled is because of a lack of nutrition during developmental stages of life. Uh, this is incredibly important to me, and spreading the importance of the nutrient qualities of animal foods, you know, serves many purposes. Uh, not only does it help people develop optimally physically and mentally, it makes human beings the beautiful people they are supposed to be. If anyone is healthy, happy, beautiful, it will make the world a better place. Unfortunately, there are many forces fighting against our happiness, one of them being vegans. Uh, so if you guys would like to support my mission, of course, please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, guys, and share the video if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, just check out some of the other videos on my channel. Recently, I have launched Frankie's Free Range Meat, my goal being to provide you guys with high-quality, nutrient-dense animal foods at an affordable price. Uh, hopefully, within a few years, I mean, we're looking to do things like raw dairy, high-quality canning our own fish making bacon, doing a bunch of amazing things, and maybe even expanding and providing even more of the world with nutrient-dense animal food. So if you guys want to learn more about our mission, check out frankiesfreerangemeat.com. Outside of that, thank you guys for joining me today, and enjoy the weekend.